guys. Welcome to another Facebook Live video chat with Post Green Homes. Today we're talking about passive house windows from Intus. So we're pretty excited about these. While we have been using uh, triple pane windows for years that uh, meet passive house specs, we've never really used a European passive house window that's certified and designed to meet the uh, passive house standards. So we're really excited to use this window for the first time. We've got these uh, all throughout Arbor House, um, and we're going to show you a couple things that make these things different. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to give a shout out uh, to our guys at Lavelle Productions. They're letting us test this Steadicam Evo uh, today, which is a really cool Steadicam for an iPhone that's coming out soon. We've got one of the first prototypes. They want to see uh, what it looks like in the hands of a bunch of morons that don't know how to use Steadicam, so they gave it to us. Um, so, if the uh, camera looks nice and smooth and glidy, that's not um, anything, it's, it has nothing to do with the user. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at these windows. So, the first thing that is pretty cool about these, these are called tilt and turn. So, our normal windows have been casement windows and they open out, you know, with a normal crank. But these things have two different ways they can open. This handle's not, we haven't screwed this handle in yet, so forgive me if it falls out. Um, the first is it tilts open just a little bit, like if you just want a little bit of airflow in, but you don't want the whole window open. So this is a really cool feature uh, that you don't see very often. You only get in pretty high-end windows. So that's the first position. And then the normal kind of opening, similar to a casement, but it's coming in. This allows you to get the window completely open. You don't have to worry about the hardware stopping it. Um, and it also allows us to do exterior screening and solar shading, which is something that's pretty big in Passive House over in, in Europe, but it's not seen a whole bunch here in residential applications because most of our windows are opening out. All right, let's get into the uh, guts a little bit here. We got Garrett from Intus just showed up, so if we got any questions, things that uh, I can't answer, this guy was, and he's always wearing a nice Intus t-shirt. He brought us this nice little uh, section of the window, so we can zoom in here a little bit. Let me close this thing. And see a little bit more about this window. So here it's very clear, you can see uh, the three panes of glass. We've got these nice uh, thick energy spacers in here. The windows actually have uh, light gauge steel frames surrounded by um, what type of? It's a polymer, uh, UPVC. UPVC. Uh, so unplasticized uh, PVC. Got it. So lead free. Um, cool. Not, yeah. So these guys are uh, giving us a custom color on the outside so we don't look like we've got cheap crummy windows from the street. And then we just do a white finish on the inside to blend in with our interiors. You can see the three panes here. Really big spacing that we don't always get from our windows in the US because they just don't make the frames big enough. That helps with the energy efficiency quite a bit. And what kind of gas do we have in here? Is it argon or? So it's argon gas. Yeah. In both sections. In both chambers. And uh, so there's actually two uh, low E uh, coatings here okay. to improve the uh, thermal performance and also uh, with the argon gas, which is about a 95% fill rate. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So this, these windows give us, uh, most of these are a U rating of 0 0.17. And that's basically. Um, E equals a R value of about 5.9. So significantly more than your traditional window you're going to see in any new construction home, significantly more than even almost double an Energy Star window for this zone. Um, and it's also not only is it passive, meeting the passive health standards, but um, you know, the guys at Building Science, their uh, rule of thumb for windows. Um, outside of passive house, just building great homes is R5. So it's, it's meeting their kind of criteria as well. Um, some other cool things about the window is this hardware really locks it into place really well, uh, much better than even a normal casement window, but it also has double air seals on here. So there's one air seal here on the actual opening part of the window, and then there's another one two actually, is it triple air seal? Triple. Triple, triple air, air seal. seal, sorry. So we got two more right here. Um, so that makes these windows much, much more airtight than a typical window and since it's got this high-end hardware and it's pulling in and 
there's nothing to break like on a casement window or wear out, so that thing's going to be airtight forever. All right, so those are the windows. Now we're going to move on to here and talk about these lift and slide doors. So you might have noticed recently we used this huge accordion door in a recent project. We got a lot of good feedback on that, so we wanted to kind of keep it going, uh, but we wanted to improve the energy efficiency and use something a little bit different. So we're trying these massive uh, sliding doors. So we've got some as big as, what, 14, 15 feet wide? In this uh, they're actually uh, 12 by 12, or 12 feet wide. Okay. Right? Yeah. Don't we have larger ones over there? Or no? Yes. Yeah. So the larger ones over there. Those are 14 feet over there. Right. So yeah. we've got some that are 14 feet and they're still just two giant panels like yeah. this. What's the maximum size of the glass, glass going to be? Uh, we can go about uh, 100 uh, square feet in, okay. just, in just glass, so without any sort of uh, spacers or reinforcements. Okay. So. so we've got all the same glazing here, the triple pane, but what's really cool is the hardware and how it functions. So these things are called, lift, this is called lift and slide hardware. This locks and unlocks the door. This is in the lock position right now. But when you turn this handle down, you'll notice that the whole door kind of lifts up. So it lifts up a couple millimeters. And now it's ready to open. It takes a little bit to get it first open, but once it's open, oops, sorry, I'm doing it right now. It only takes about five pounds of pressure to move this pretty much 500 pound door. So you get a nice big opening, much larger opening than your traditional, you know, slider door that you get from Home Depot or whatever. Um, but it's got all this lift and slide technology, which not only makes it really easy to open, but also gets that passive house level air seal when you close it. And that's been uh, a big thing we haven't been able to achieve in past homes. So if you zoom in here a little bit, you'll see this has a triple air seal also. So we've got two seals right here, these kind of interior seals that seal to the uh, frame once it's closed. And then you've got this external kind of air seal and weather, um, you know, thing that is on the outside that covers uh, the door when it's closed. Mm -hmm. um, that's about all I can think of. You got anything to add? Short so, salesman guy. So, so <laughs> this is just a, uh, uh, you'll just notice about these lift inside doors, everything's tempered glass. Okay. Uh, so just a reinforced uh, uh, stability to the glass. And, uh, and yeah, it's just an overall pretty great unit. Yeah. And you guys are using these more and more in passive house projects mainly? More and more in passive house projects and now that higher end homes are starting to uh, incorporate energy savings, yeah. we're starting to see more and more of these uh, okay. uh, in the recent year or two. And these, these big doors? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do we get any questions or comments from the uh, people here? Well, Ethan will take us, uh, take us on out here. You want to do a little closing? No? That's good. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks again um, to Garrett, the genius behind the filming of, uh, of the Rocky franchise for letting us test out his new toy. Hopefully uh, we did a decent job and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Take care. Thanks for joining us everyone.